Stitches TV. We're going to show you how to make a really quick kimono stroke robe coat. Now we do like a kimono on Stitchless TV. We've got quite a few tutorials already. For example, we have this rather nice kimono with inset, have a look at the back with inset lace, but that's a bit more labour intensive. We also have this tutorial where we made a kimono out of vintage scarves. But for this one today, we are using just a length of kind of sarong type fabric, which is hemmed on both sides and then has raw edges on each side. Now before we begin, I really want to show you this. So using, how high shall I go? I'm trying to show you the whole length of it. Using the method that we're doing today, one of our students, like this, look at that. So this is using the same method as we're using today, but obviously she didn't have ready-made hems on it, but it's still so easy. I'll show you the back. Look at that! What amazing fabric! And it has slits at the side too, which we will have today. Now what is sort of quite important when you're doing this kimono robe um, thing, and you're trying to do it really quickly and simply, is this bit of gathering. I've done like a little bit of gathering up here. And what it does is it just allows a bit of extra fabric to come across like that, and I, I don't know, I think it makes it look quite nice. Right, we're ready to cut, okay? So what I've done is I've pressed a line down the middle of our sarong. It doesn't look straight because our fabric is not straight. Now the reason why I've done that is because I need to know where the middle is because I'm going to fold in the edges of my sarong so that they more or less meet up with that line. Right, so once you fold it in each side to meet up with your centre, okay, now I've, I'm just sort of roughly measuring it, right, so each side is 44, so it doesn't have to be really accurate. You're going to start shaping the sleeve now. You can make it as wide as you want. Right, so I'm, I'm making the width of my sleeve, allowing for seam allowances and everything. I think I'm going to make it, should we measure it? 28 centimetres, but that's wider than I want it because I know about the seam allowance. So I'm just going to, you know, roughly, do a shape like this and then just go straight down. Now you have to mirror it on the other side as well. So if I match up the folds and the patterns and everything, then I should be cutting out exactly the same size on the other side. Right, we need these bits, so don't throw those bits away. So let's just cut up the fold so we've got an actual armhole into the sleeve and do the same on the other side. Right, now what happens is, I mean, you're probably looking at this and thinking, oh my gosh, how are you going to put your head in there? Well, what happens is, okay, so that's our centre back there. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to take this back to wherever we think it's wide enough for the neck to be. And then when you know how wide you're going to have your neck, put a little notch there, okay? So put a notch there, and then also put a notch that's going to show, on, put it on both layers. This is really important, actually. <laughs> put a notch on both layers. 
because what's going to happen is this is all going to become gathered here and it will stop where we put the notch for the width of our neck okay and that just gives it, it you'll see when when you finished it it will sit nicely around your neck if you do that so you need to do that to the other side as well in exactly the same way So the first thing that we need to do is to gather that little section here. So we're going to sew from here using a big stitch, stitch to our notch. So this is on the front piece, okay? So we're going to stitch a line there using a really big stitch and then gather it up to fit. Okay, so get one of those front shoulder pieces Find the notch, which is where you're supposed to be stopping. It's the largest stitch on your machine, so for me that's a number four. No backwards and forwards, just sew with whatever your seam allowance is going to be. And then, what you will be doing is you'll be gathering this little bit by pulling just one thread. It's just one thread. But we don't know how much to gather it until we put it against the back piece. So we'll do that when we've done the other front as well. So when you've done that, you need to see how much you need to gather it to fit between your notches. So remember, that's the centre back notch. Okay. And then one of these <laughs> is where we decided we were going to have our front. Our fabric is right sides together. So I'm going to line that up with there. You can put a pin there if you want. And then this notch has to line up with the notch there. And then just gather it, gather all this stuff up until, until it fits in that space. Okay. And then you can stitch right down that shoulder seam. Okay, don't forget to turn your stitch size back to two and a half or three, depending upon what you work to. Right, get all your gathers all nice. So now you do need to go forwards and back and stitch in the well of your gathered line, okay? Now look, there's my notch. I need to match up that notch. Gather this top stuff enough to fit like that okay and then when I'm happy with the fit then I can sew it and then line up with the end of the fabric which is the end of your shoulder seam right you want your sleeve ends to match up okay and if they're not matching up you might need to shove a cheeky little pleat in there And just keep sewing down to the end of your sleeve. So what you end up with looks like this, okay? And then your other side is going to begin there. And you'll see you get this same sort of shaping here. So we're going to do the same on the other shoulder now as well. Now when you've done it, make sure you give it a really good press. Right, I want for you um, to see, see this. Now when I press it, I'm, I'm flattening those gathers, okay? Also, I'm pressing the seams towards the back. Now because we have the raw edge of the fabric from the sarong, do you know what? I'm not even going to hem that, which I guess is a bit naughty, but I'm, I'm not. But if you didn't have the uh, edge of the fabric, then you would want to roll it under again and then stitch across. And it's fine that it's straight. Don't worry about it. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to hem the sleeves. Now, I'm going to 
treat this tutorial like you don't have a surgery and you don't have an overlocker. Okay, so we're going to do it like that. So I always like to press my hems, okay, before I sew them. So what I want you to do is to fold back a little hem, okay, so you're going to fold back a little hem. And then fold it again to whatever size you want. We're just doing a tiny one. So you prepare your hem like that, all the way down on one sleeve and then do the same on the other sleeve. Now before we actually hem those sleeves, we're just going to line everything up, okay, in a perfect position as to how it should be. And I want you to think about where you want your slip to go to at the side. So I think I want my slip to go to about there. And I'm going to do a little triangle type of notch there. And then give yourself a couple of other little notches, particularly around this bend here, which you'll use as landmarks, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to unravel where you folded up your hem here. You're going to unravel it and you're going to sew with a small seam allowance around this bend. But then as you come down here, I want you to come up to quite a big seam allowance, uh, maybe even an inch seam allowance by the time you get to that. So two centimetres, that's an inch-ish, um, by the time you get to the notch where the slit is. And then you're going to do the same on the other side as well, okay? Right, so I'm going to put my fabric right sides together. So put your fabric right sides together. And I'll start sewing my side seam from that notch, the big notch that represents the slit, okay? So that was a large seam allowance, actually more kind of like an inch really. So it's a big seam allowance where that slit is, but then we're gonna start coming in as we go up. But as we go up, we're matching up our sort of landmark notches, okay? So backwards and forwards there, three times. Match up your notches. And now you're going to start slowly driving in so your seam allowance is a bit less, definitely, for when you go around the armpit. But do it gradually, okay? Otherwise it'll look weird. So that's my armpit notch. Right, now I'm down to quite a small seam allowance. So I've gone round that armpit and now I'm going to unravel, I know it seems odd, <laughs> and it is really, I'm going to unravel the pressed hem that I prepared and backwards and forwards at the end there, okay? Now do the same on the other side as well and don't trim off this seam allowance at the moment. Right, so we should end up with this area that we haven't sewn, which is going to become the split. Now, what I like to do is I like to prepare my fabric first for sewing. So that's why we did a big seam allowance where the slit is. So again, just fold back a tiny hem. Okay, and then fold back a bigger hem. So we're going quite big, I think, here. We're going to do like a two centimetre, whoops, a two centimetre inch type of hem. And then you need to do the same on this side as well and do it on all of your sides of your slits. But you probably need to see this. So when you're preparing your... Um, folded back bits, you need to go beyond where your slit is. Okay, so you sort of go past there. Now, 
What happens to the rest of the seam is it becomes zigzagged or overlocked and you would stop overlocking it around here and then just sort of squash it down and press it back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hem these bits now but they're all nice and prepared so it would be really easy. So we're going to hem our slits. Before you hem your slits, can you just trim back your excess fabric and zigzag it if you don't have an overlocker? So let's just quickly zigzag it now and zigzag those edges. Do you remember I said you don't go all the way down? You don't go all the way down to that slit. You've got to stop a few, I don't know, seven centimetres or so away from your slit. Put your machine back to a normal straight stitch and then we'll begin to hem our slits. Now I'm saying from the top because I can feel where my fabric is underneath and it just makes it easier for me. Now as you get to the end of the slit, put your needle in, turn your fabric around and sort of close the slit as you drive over it, okay? Just a couple of times to reinforce it. Needle in and start making your way back down on the other side. So look, what you end up with is something that looks like this. But we're doing very well. We've done our slits. Where are they? Can you see the slits? We've done the slits and they're all nice and pressed. Now what I did do was, where we stitched up the side seam, I have pressed all the side seams, so I just repressed just that little bit there of the hem on the sleeve. So that's all we have to do now. We just have to hem around the sleeve and we're done. So you'll see that because we have hemmed this sleeve, it just makes it really, really easy to sew. Now I could take this off. In fact, I think I will take that off. <laughs> so it will make it easier for me to do the sleeve. Well, I'm in an awkward position because I need you to see. But anyway, right, so, again, I'm just sewing from the top, and I'm doing this with one hand so that you can see. But you see, when I sew from the top, I don't need pins, and I don't get any bunching up to the pins, and I just keep sewing until I end up back where I started. So this is one hand. Standing up, no pins. Oh, I'm not showing off. I sound like I'm showing off, but I'm, I'm not. And then we'll get back to the beginning. And backwards and forwards. And have a look. So you've got to do the same as that, okay? You've got, oh, that's a bit wonky. You've, you've got to do the same as that, but on the other side, okay? We are done. And that is very, very good. Do you not think that's really good? So this was made out of a sarong that was 180 centimetres long by about a metre and a, I don't know, five centimetres wide. So we made use of the finished off edges by making them fall at the front. We put slits, can you see? We put slits in the side, and I think that that, can you see the back? I think that that is definitely pretty good. Right, so I'll try it on. Right, I hope you can see this. I am actually standing on a stool so that you can see 
But look, got lovely sleeves. I'll just carefully turn around. Lovely slits, I do like a slit. <laughs> the back's pretty good as well. Now, I did have some leftover fabric from the, the bits that we cut out the side. I think I might just have to make some pockets. What do you reckon? Pockets or no pockets? Not sure. So thank you very much for watching. It was good being tall. Thank you very much for watching Stitchless TV. And if you make any of our projects, please share them with me on the Facebook page or our Instagram page. See you again very soon. Bye.